Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Bad Luck Gamer, and we're back with another Pathfinder Bite Size, where I try to tell you about one of the classes in Pathfinder Second Edition in under ten minutes. Today, we're going to be talking about this guy, Harsk, or the Rangers. So, what is a ranger? Now, a ranger is a hunter of sorts. They've always been one who targets a specific type of prey or a singular target and hunted them down to the end of the world. You know, they always get bonuses to their perception and their survival. Now, in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, rather than focusing on a particular like species of prey, like dragons or like criminals and as a bounty hunter, you instead have a lot of features much more focused on a particular target in the battlefield, and you focus on that. That allows you to gain unique bonuses that allow you to hunt that prey much more easily. All that in consideration, the ranger is a martial class that has a wide variety of ways it can be played based on how you pick up your feats and what kind of features that you select in the class. They are the ultimate when it comes to tracking down and finding their prey and as well have a bunch of benefits surrounding their perception abilities and the like. The ranger is an unparalleled survivalist and capable of handling any situation that nature throws at them, making them a pretty terrifying foe for anyone who has been made their prey. So all that in all that said, what makes the ranger the ranger? So we're going to start off with their core feature, which is hunt prey. It's a singular action with a concentrate trait, and what it does is you get a bonus of a plus two circumstance to your perception checks to seek a target, which is good for finding enemies who are currently concealed or hiding or stealth or anything like that. And you also get a plus two circumstance bonus to your survival checks when it comes to tracking your prey. They also gain a, a unique bonus to their ranged attacks as they ignore the first range increments for their prey when using a ranged item or a ranged weapon, as it were. What this more or less means is that every range increment for your weapon, which is the range indicated on the on the sheet, is essentially a additional minus two after the first. So if a short bow, for instance, has a range of 100 feet, after 100 feet, you take a minus two. And then after 200 feet, it's a minus four. Now, with the Ranger, you essentially double that before you start taking any penalties, meaning that you're, if you're using the short bow, as I mentioned, you can aim at any enemy at within 200 feet without taking any range penalties. This does give them a slight proclivity towards range weapons, but it is not a main feature of the class, really, to use range weapons. It's just one of the options they have, and they actually have lots of options for many different styles of play. One of the ways that the ranger adjusts how they play the game is through their hunter's edge. Each ranger gets a singular hunter's edge that they can use whenever they use hunt prey. So essentially what happens is now their hunt prey becomes augmented by whatever their edge is. For instance, flurry that you can see here reduces the multi-attack penalty for any strike after the first. These penalties get reduced in such a way that if you when you get the masterful hunter upgrade at level 17, it's almost non-existent. Your second strike, if you're using an agile weapon, becomes a minus one and their third strike and every strike after that becoming only a minus two as long as you're using a range we or an agile weapon. This allows you to very easily melt enemies with sheer DPR, making the ranger actually more accurate than even the fighter after the first strike. It is one of the core features of the flurry to just attack as much as possible, whether it's using range weapons, melee weapons, or anything you can really get your hands on. Outwit, which is one of my personal favorites, gives you a plus two circumstance bonus to deception checks, intimidation checks, and stealth checks, as well as any checks related to recalling knowledge on the prey specifically. You also just get a plus one circumstance bonus to your AC when fighting your prey, though this doesn't stack with things like parry with some weapons or raising a shield, just so you know. Regardless, Outwit is really good because it allows you to faint an enemy more easily, demoralize an enemy more easily, 
and sneak up on them more easily, which can offer a lot of benefits. And not only that, but you can use Hunt Prey on someone even outside of combat. It's not like a big target comes up over their head where they know they're being hunted. So these actions can even be used outside of combat when dealing with people in social situations, making Outwit way more dynamic and used for more than just combat. And precision here, I adjusted the screen so it wouldn't be blocking y'all, just allows you to hit harder. It, every time you hit the enemy that is the, your hunted prey, you do an additional D8 precision damage and by the time you get to the end of the game it gets up to 3d8 additional precision damage which is a massive amount of essentially extra weapon die and in addition to this when you get your mask for a hunter upgrade your second strike also gets additional damage though just not as much overall this and even up to your third eventually overall this makes the ranger really really good at dealing with enemies in a variety of ways. If you're using a, a easy light weapon or a range weapon, then flurry is the way to go. If you're going a hard hitting, like a two handed weapon or a, a reloading weapon, precision is the way to go to do a massive extra hit. And outwit is really good if you're playing a more skill based ranger who is more about messing with your enemies in and outside of combat. But there's more than just the Hunter's Edge that makes the hunt or the Ranger unique. The Ranger gets access to Animal Companion as a level one feat that you can select and your Animal Companion becomes a part of your kit. More than any other class, the Ranger actually gets a lot of ability when it comes to utilizing their Animal Companion. As you can see here, the Ranger gets a unique feature where their Animal Companion benefits from the benefits of your Hunt Prey, meaning if you're using Precision as your Hunt Prey, your Animal Companion is doing additional, di uh, additional D8 damage on its first strike. And if you're using Flurry, well, then every time your, anim your Animal Companion attacks, it's getting a lesser multi-attack penalty, meaning that the Ranger doesn't just use an Animal Companion, the Animal Companion becomes a part of their kit. Even with the level 18 feet Masterful Companion, your Animal Companion also can benefit from your Masterful upgrades, meaning that the Ranger is just adding the Animal Companion as a part of their overall functions. It's not just something extra. It actually does adjust how you play the game, and that makes the Ranger really unique. Hunted Shot is another feat that you can take at level one, and it allows you to strike twice with a ranged weapon that has a reload of zero with a singular action. If you're using Flurry, this is perfect because your second attack is already getting a reduction in its multi-attack penalty. So this allows you to essentially just lay on the hurt on your enemy. This makes the Ranger probably one of the best DPR classes in the game, as not only can they just hit the enemy more, but they are also just more accurate with their additional strikes, meaning that they're just more likely to hit and sometimes even crit. They even have a feat selection if you want to use two weapons. If you want dual wield weapons, well, Twin Takedown is for you as another level one feat. You can take this and you get two attacks, one with each weapon, though your multi-attack penalty increases normally. Again, perfect for Flurry. All this kind of combines together to allow the Ranger to adjust how they play so specifically. You want to be a range ranger? You got it. You got all kinds of feats orientated towards range attacks. You have massive range, whatever. You want to use, you know, agile, fast weapons, dual wielding, all that. Well, flurry is perfect, and there's so many ways to just lay on a bunch of extra attacks. Or if you want to go heavier, you want to go with a massive weapon or a heavy crossbow. Well, you got that too, as it allows you with the precision to just lay on a bunch of damage, even though you're only striking once per round. Combining that with the fact that you can just choose to take an animal companion as well, it makes the ranger very versatile. In fact, ranger is probably one of the strongest classes in the game, and in my opinion, is probably one of the best classes to start the game off as a beginner, as it allows you to see so many really fun aspects of the game. And that's it. Hopefully you got an idea of what the Ranger is in the game, and this video helped you make your decision on what you wanted to start the game as. As well, you know, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like down below or subscribe so you can see these videos as they come out. 
If you want to go the extra step, you can also join our Discord linked in the description as we talk all things tabletop there and all my Discord members get at, get a notification whenever a video is released so you never miss a single video. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Good luck with your games. Leave the bad luck to me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.